Hi there, this is Darren O'Neill from Darren's Tech Tutorials and DarrenO'Neill.eu. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install CentOS Stream 9 onto VirtualBox. So we'll just get started here. I have Google open and it's going to search for CentOS. I'm going to click on the CentOS project. I'm going to click, click CentOS Stream. I want to click CentOS Stream 9. I'm going to download this x86-64 here and um, this will kick off the download. So while this is downloading, I'll just click pause. Okay, great. So my download's done. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to open up VirtualBox. I'm going to click the new button. I'm going to click type CentOS. Um, I'm going to browse to where I've downloaded that file. In my case, it's actually just on the desktop. So let me click there. And I'm going to check this skip unattended installation just so we, we can see what's happening. I'm going to click next. I'm going to leave it at 2 gigs of RAM. I'm just going to give it a little bit more CPU and I want to click next. I'm going to click to create a virtual hard disk now, and I'll make this 40 gigs. Just give it a little bit more. And I'm going to click next. And this all looks good, and I'm going to click finish. So we now have our virtual machine here nearly ready to go. Okay, now that it's ready to go, I'm just going to click the start button, and this will begin to boot up CentOS for us here. And while this is powering up, um, if you do find this video useful, please do like and subscribe. And please do consider checking out my Patreon, where I post things like handy cheat sheets, which are always um, always good to have nearby, and I'll leave the link to that below. Okay, so let's go back and see how our VM is doing. Okay, so I want to click in here, and you'll see you'll get this prompt. So just remember, you need to click the right control if you need to come out of the VM. So I'm going to click Capture. I'm going to click the up arrow, and I'm going to press Enter to begin to install CentOS uh, Screen 9. Okay, so let me just pause the video again while this is uh, stepping through this. Okay, so we're back here and it looks good. I'm going to leave my language as English and I'll leave it, I'll actually click English Ireland. So I'm based in Ireland. I'm going to click continue. And this should hopefully take us to the next step momentarily. Perfect. Okay, so a couple of things here. I'm going to click this installation destination. I'm going to double click this disk and I'll click done. I'll just scroll down here and it's looking for a root password. So let me just pop in something quickly here. And uh, yeah, that's good. I'll just click done up here. Okay, and I'm going to click begin installation. And this is it. It's beginning to install. So this, this will take a couple of minutes. So what I'll do is again, I'll just pause the video while well, this is uh, stepping through the installation process. Okay, it looks like we're back. This took a while for me. Um, it took maybe about 20 minutes. Um, did it take as long for you? Let me know in the comments how long it, it took to install. Anyway, it's interesting. Okay, so I'm going to click Reboot System here, and this will then begin to do the reboot process. Um, so why it's rebooting again, let me just pause it, and we should be done now in a couple of minutes. So let me just get this to pause, and then we'll catch up in two minutes. Okay, we're nearly there. Um, so next thing I want to click, now that it's rebooted, I want to click on the start setup. I I'm happy to leave location services, so I'll leave that as is. Um, I'm not going to connect to the cloud. I'm going to click skip that. I'll put in my name. I'll click next. It's going to ask me for a password. Let me just put something in quickly here. Obviously, the stronger the password, the better. Okay. And I'm going to start using CentOS Stream, and that's it. Um, so that was how to set up CentOS Stream 9 on VirtualBox. I do hope it was helpful for you. Um, if you need any help, just do comment below. And please do like and subscribe if this was helpful. And, of course, check out my Patreon. And as always, thank you for watching.